Okay, so I've got a hole in my wrap here. The weft threads, the coloured ones, are still going this way, but the black warp threads have been cut. So you can see here, I've got these ones travelling from this direction, these ones travelling from this direction, and I have split them down the middle. To mend them, these ends do not need to be knotted together. They don't need to be fastened. This side and this side don't need to be fastened together. All you need to do is weave these ends towards this direction and these ends in this direction. Those will cover the hole. We'll end up with double the number of threads because where there were 10 threads, we'll now have 10 threads in this direction and 10 in that, so it'll be 20 threads. They will hold in place, they'll move with the cloth, we'll have no issues. The only problem that I've got is that these are very little, these ends. And so if I weave them in, they're all going to end here and we're going to get all the ends poking out um, in a more obvious way. One end will bury itself in the cloth but 10 or 20 and you'll start to notice it. So we need to lengthen these threads. Now there is a lot of slack built into each of these warp threads and it's distributed right along the length of the wrap and so if I get hold of one, if I can do this without looking at my own hands properly, I can actually pull this and lengthen it, it'll pucker here, but if I give this cloth a wiggle, I can redistribute the tightness right through the wrap, and you'll not notice at all that it's lost these little bit of slack across the, the, the length of the wrap, but I've now got a much longer piece of thread that I can weave in, so that the end will get buried somewhere here. And if I make these all slightly different lengths, then I will have ends buried all the way up, and again, it's not for safety, it's just to hide where they fall so that you don't end up with, with um, lots of ends here. You shouldn't see them at all once they've woken back in. So, I can't do this from the other side of the camera. All I need to do is get my needle. I've got a really big needle here. To demonstrate with you shouldn't use a maybe a needle is this big it's just it's very hard to to weave it without being able to see my own hands and so all you need to do is pick through the weft threads up and down like this to sight the needle in the direction that you want to go then get your lengthened thread and put through the eye of a needle and then pull it into the cloth. Give it a little wiggle and it'll stay in place. And you're going to do the same thing, lengthen, wiggle it along this length so that you don't get any puckering and then weave it through. You do that with every single one in that direction, every single one in that direction and you'll fill that gap. 